Welcome back to the exciting finale of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3 for the DS. Now, you can choose the left or the right path. Either path is fine, so it doesn't really matter. Ah, uh, yeah, I want to zoom out. I was zoomed in a little earlier because I was looking at something. I like the dark area in this place. It is freaking awesome. I I'm a sucker for dark areas, viewers. Because we have a... Kunoichi? Now a Shadow Master. I actually want Luna to attack the Shadow Master. She is a threat, in my opinion. Now let's use Tornado on the Kage. And then I want to use Quake and have Ingus use Soul Eater just this one time. Now the Shadow Masters, I think they can paralyze you if I remember correctly. And cast Tornado. They, they may or may not cast Tornado. Well, I guess we'll find out or we won't find out. Wait, that's it? I thought they had... Shadow Masters have... Oh, they only have 10,000 health. Okay. Well, they're nearly as bad as I thought they would be. So, I, that's okay. Come on, work! No. No. Of course not. No, I want you to attack him. I want you to heal Ingus. Uh, just use a low-level spell charge and attack him. Now, if you'd have a summoner, I would use a Leviathan summon to use, like, Tidal Web with these guys. That would, that would work out pretty well. I wish summoners had more spell charges. If they did, I'd probably use them a lot more. But I like using my Black Mages and Maguses more. It's just my favoritism. Uh, if you have a summoner, feel free to use them. They're very useful. I think, I'm thinking about doing a bonus episode of all the job classes and them being maxed out and all their equipment and everything, but that'd be after the game's over. If our main characters don't die again, if you know what I mean. Let's cure up before this area. Well, before this upcoming... You know. You know what's up next, right, viewers? <clears throat> the ebb of darkness is getting stronger. Soon, none shall be able to stop it. As for you, you will never leave this place alive! Who's talking to us? Is it... Is it another boss? You guess it, viewers, because it's... Time for a boss fight. Ah, uh, and here is Ariman. His physical attacks can inflict petrification, and it's a real pain in the butt. So I've used your strongest spells and regular attacks on him. Sometimes he restores his health with Kiraja, and yeah, I, whoa, critical hit. Love it. Sometimes he restores his health with Kiraja, and it really, really sucks. And our man will most likely cast Plazaga on your party, but once in a while he'll cast Quake and Meteor, especially when his health starts to dwindle down quite a bit. And that's pretty much all you need to know for Aubrey Man, so just watch out for those Quake and Meteor spells and everything, and we should be just fine. Yeah, there goes a Blazaga, like I said he would do. That's not, it doesn't take off that much damage. It's the Meteor I'm worried about. Ooh. Uh, good. The, oh yeah, you can't petrify them. I have ribbons equipped in. No. Oh. oh, what am I worried about? I forgot I had ribbons. <laughs> uh, let's go with another Flare. Yeah, let's just attack him. We, we should be fine. Come on, Lunath! Finish him! No, he's not gonna finish him this turn. I wish. He has like 99,999 HP. The same as Echinida. But I find him to be... Ooh. Uh, more tolerable than... Don't attack Lunath, please. You son of a... Mm. Ugh. Damn it. I find him to be more tolerable than Echinida, but now I'm having second thoughts. Ugh. I really hate this guy. I, I, I do. Okay. Well, this is why we have Arise. Yeah, Arise is your best friend. Let's go with Bio and a regular attack. Because I, I don't want to kill him yet. I want Luna to be alive, but... Ugh. No. No. Not Quake. You SOB. Oh. Oh, wait. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I knew he was going to attack Angus. I, I had a feeling he would. This boss just doesn't like me. He never does! I swear, he has a thing against me. He always kills my favorite characters. And by always, I mean once. That's the first time he killed Lunath on me. Usually he kills Refia, which I hate more, but... Um, yeah, whatever. Let's see, now... If I'm lucky, he'll die on this turn. And I hope I'm lucky today. Yes, Lunath gets to move! Come on, get him! Get him! Ah! Oh, no. No, but not, not yet. 
Maybe Flare will take him out? Oh, come on! How much does this guy have? Oh, I know how much health he has. He should be dead, though. Seriously. Don't attack Ingus. Nah, okay, thank you. He didn't attack Ingus. Because he could petrify Ingus, because I don't have a ribbon on Ingus yet. I have to go through the other area before I can get a ribbon. We got this. I know we do. Ari man, you are going to die. Because I said so. Uh, you guys know what Quake, I mean, Meteor looks like, so I'm just going to keep using Flare. Flare is very good. Takes off like 7,000 damage. Usually. Until when Ark's job level goes higher, it'll take off more damage. But until then, eh. I wonder if my mages have their job levels over 30 like I want them to. And the Famicom version, you want uh, your Devo to have her job levels be around her 70s. Because Kirija really, really, really sucks. If you have her job level max, you will get like a thousand HP for everybody. At most. Yeah, they really made it hard. <laughs> Whew, we finally defeated Auriman! Or how do how you pronounce his name? Oh, really? Well, nice to have you to join us. Well, for you to join us. The sun and the world, huh? Creating a world without day or night. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that kind of would suck, wouldn't it? I guess it would be like the twilight entering the areas. I can get Kariko Village or Hyrule Castle Town and Twilight Princess. I mean, there was no day or night in that area. Not really. It was more like Frozen, because everyone was stuck as spirits. Not as bad as this game, but... Yeah, people were f feared in that game. In this one, they were just frozen, so it's not too bad. I wish there was a portal that led us back to the main entrance, but... Sadly, there isn't, so we're stuck walking all the way back! I may or may do it, may or may not do it on screen or off screen. I, I could backtrack off screen, maybe, but that's nah, okay. I'm fine either way. I can just edit out random battles, anyways. And I love editing, right, viewers? <laughs> Most of the time, there are days where editing just totally kills me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now the next area I want to go. No, no, wait, no, I, uh, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go in towards the center yet. Not yet. Let's see. I want to go to the top left now. Yeah, I want to go left. I don't like the le top left area. In all honesty, I don't like the left side at all. The bottom left I don't like, and I don't like the top left either. That, that's just me. Let's see, where... Okay, take a right. Yeah, we have to go around and get that treasure chest, and it contains exactly what you think it is, viewers. Another ribbon. New enemies? Ooh, uh, we do have a new enemy. What's this guy called? Yamu? Oh, Yormungand. He does not have a weakness. He has a good amount of HP, too. Uh, just hit him with everything you got, and you should be just fine. Although, you might want to save your Bahamut summon spells uh, for the bosses in this area instead of just attacking, instead of using them all on like regular enemies like this guy or anything. He has about 30,000 HP, and his defense isn't not something you should really worry about. I mean, it's okay. Ugh, yeah, I do hate his Quake attack, though. His Quake is really annoying. It's, my, he always gets my Dark Knight a lot for some reason. Eh, that's okay. Um, yeah, let's attack him again. Let's use Kiraga. And hit him with everything we got. Besides our level 8 spell charges. Because we want to save those for the boss. I mean, you could use your elixirs in this area if you really need to, but at this point in the game, you should have so many spell charges that you really don't need to use your elixirs. The only time I really ever used the elixirs was the Cave of Darkness in the Famicom version. I don't use them too much in the DS. Maybe once in a while I'll try it, but eh, I'm, I'm fine either way. Alright, let's cure everybody. There we go. Alright, let's keep going. We got tons of stuff to do in this episode. Alright, we're almost there. We're really close, anyways. Go left. Okay, there we go. And here's another ribbon, and I'll be right back. 
Alright, now I want to give that ribbon to Ingus, because he's going to need it. Yeah, it does lower his defense a little bit, but eh, you know what? I need the status ailment thing, because these bosses can cause some status ailments on us, and I really don't want to be petrified, or poisoned, or anything I don't like. So, ribbons are your best friends. They're my best friends, too. I love ribbons. In every Final Fantasy game, that has them. I can't remember if they're in every Final Fantasy game. I don't played them all yet. I played most of them, but not all of them. I still got a few. You cannot stop the flow of darkness. This will be your final resting place. Oh, really? My final resting place, huh? We'll see about that. Because it's time for another boss battle. I think this is the... Oh, Cerberus. Oh, okay. I thought this was the two-headed dragon one. I, I said nothing. Nothing. Okay, anyways, we have Cerberus. From Kingdom Hearts 2? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, he is a... Royal pain in the butt, I, sh I should say so myself. He attacks three times per round, so his physical attacks are pretty strong, too. Uh, his attacks can inflict poison if you don't have the ribbons equipped. Did. Sometimes he casts like Blazaga, Thundaga, or Firaga on the entire party. Ooh, yeah, that did take off. Oh, there goes the Blazaga. Seriously, you're only attacking my Devo? Oh, okay, that's better. I was hoping he wouldn't attack my Devo again. Uh, the extra action avoided, I mean, extra action afforded to Cerberus by its extra head makes this a really tough battle. Yeah, because I think his extra head allows him to... Yeah, let's use Kirojo, why not? His extra head gives him another attack, which makes it really tough. Uh, so if you need to use an elixir to get by, or maybe two of them, I don't feel bad about it. I mean, they're there. They're not part of the too good to use items. You should use them if you find a good chance. I just tend to not need him as much as I think I would. Oh crap! That's why Luna has the blood sword. Oh, damn! He is tough. Remember that two-headed dragon in uh, the Legend of Zelda games? Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Yeah, that guy. Okay, good. Kira has going. We should be fine. I, I'd hope. Alright, let's keep healing every round, and let's keep uh, attacking him. Death won't work, otherwise I would use it on him. It, do it does, it doesn't work on any of these bosses, so don't try it. Come on, Lunath, you got him! No, not yet. I wish we would get him soon, but eh, that's okay. He is a he is a pretty tough boss, not gonna lie. Come on, we got this. No! Ah, uh, dang it. Ow. Okay, don't don't attack the same characters. Okay, he's attacking also with Lazaga. Oh, this is getting a little hot in here. Ow. Okay, that hurt. They're gonna say Refia on healing. You want her healing every round. If you have like two sages, or maybe you have a sage in your party, you could have the sage do some backup healing for you. I mean, that works out too, but I'm just sticking to uh, Refia, because she's my only healer. I mean, if Refia can't get to the healing in time, I'll just use an elixir, in case I don't think she'll get to it in time, because Cerberus is a lot faster than Refia. And then we, or we can kill him, that works too. Goodbye, Cerberus. Ugh, boy, he, he was tough. I only one gained the job level. No, I was hoping more would. That's okay. Warrior of the Dark. Yeah, I kind of figured. Oh. We, we could always use another hand helping us. They coexist in a precarious balance, huh? No, oh, doesn't sound too bad. Oh, yeah, they would cancel each other out. Kind of like the Mana in Tales of Symphonia, where like, there's Tethiala and Silveront, and every time one went on their chosen journey, they, re they made the other side more flowing through mana, and then the, uh, the other side of that it wasn't on the journey uh, lost that mana. That's what this guy kind of reminds me of when he's talking about all this. Yeah, as long as there's a world of light, there's a world of darkness. Although in the Final Fantasy Dissidia games, I love fighting in the world of darkness. Anyways, I am going to meet you guys back at the center off screen, and we'll find out what's going to happen next in the exciting finale of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3 for the DS. Have a good day.